Guys, welcome to the first game. Not your fault. Uh, for, <laughs> sorry, talking to Twitch chat in the background. Welcome to the first game of the fourth set between Striker and Seriosity. Upper right in corner, we have Striker starting as the Blue Zorg. Bottom left in corner, we have Seriosity starting as the White Protoss. And Striker showing some flexibility there, going initially kind of an adjustment into five hatch Hydralisk. I thought Seriosity was going to get the jump on him with the Zealot. Uh, timing attack. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he, yeah, wasn't able to. It looked like for a moment he was going to get headwind, but all of those zealots, between the magnificent drone drill, from Striker, yeah, the zealots uh, having trouble microing in the midst of that. Pylon on the front, cross spawns once again. I feel like that typically has helped Seriosity at least in the early game. I really want. Seriosity to pull a match out. Or at least uh, be on the verge of winning. He's been... I feel like he's been in a good position once or twice. But it just feels like all of a sudden... Seriosity is... Uh, or Strikers just pulled that advantage... Out of nowhere. From him. Overpool once again. And Overlord heading to the bottom right hand corner. I will say this, it has been, I mean, Striker is just, I've really come to, like, previously I knew Striker was good. But watching these games unfold, it's just like, he is so good. Seriosity not even sending out a probe scout, he's just going to go straight for uh, what looks like, a, yeah, an 11 Nexus. A bit risky play here. 11 Nexus before Forge. A bit of economic cheese. Grabbing a bit of minerals in the midst of it. Hatchery being planted. A drone scout moving out for Striker. Going to go ahead and check that upper left hand corner. He's only producing two Zerglings to start. So it looks like this is going to go unpunished for Seriosity. So at least getting a bit of an economic edge. Drone making its way across. Probe scout now moving out for Seriosity. And I'm wondering if upon scouting this, is he, yeah, he can't really punish this. Taking a bit of damage as he's moving across those lines and a can warping in on the front. Also makes a nice seal at that gateway. I don't know, I kind of, even though this is like, I think a little bit more of an uncomfortable spawn location for Protoss, it feels at the same time more cozy. Is that the right thing to say? Also, look at this cool symbol on the forge. It almost looks like an Adobe, it's like somewhere between tech and Adobe Hut. It's kind of awesome. Anyway. Appreciate the artwork while we can. The downside of this for Seriosity is sending out that very late uh, probe scout. You want to keep eyes on Striker and what he's doing. He's already got that third base at that 3 o'clock location. Some Zerklings already planted across the ramp to go ahead and blockade and deny information, at least in that realm. Unfortunately, moving out of position, so the, that probe going to be able to just wander straight through, and it's going to be able to see that layer morphing. Now the question is, is okay, early, early Nexus gives Seriosity a bit of an economic boost. What is he going to do with it? Zergling's trying to trail and chase down that probe. Again, we've seen a lot of three hatch. Four, I mean, we've seen a lot of build orders actually from Striker thus far. I'm kind of curious what he's going to throw at us this game. The probe, in fact, spots that third base building on location. And they're about halfway finished. Simon X Core once again warping in on the front door. The Zealot plugging the gap. Kind of curious with the positioning of the Simon X Core as well. Boy, Seriosity opts to, maybe if he, if I can get a hold of him, maybe I can ask him if it's just because he wants to have more of a free open main, maybe to hide tech potentially. Pro Scout getting chased back by those two Zerglings. More Zerglings have been produced. There's still only a single cannon, but the single cannon the Zealot I think will hold. Level 1 weapons being produced and a Stargate warping in at the main. We are seeing three hatch spire thus far, but this is striker, so he could do potentially anything. Two zealots making their way out. And keep in mind that without the second cannon in place, we've seen those zerglings flood through and take 
take it down rapidly. Are they going to go for it? Not this time. Especially after eating a bit of fire. The Zealots making their way into the bottom right-hand corner. Kind of curious what they're hoping to find there. Just scouting it out. They're going to cycle around to that 3 o'clock. The Zerglings are out of position to try to defend this. Spire two-thirds finished. The Corsair on the way. And preventatory... So potential pylons to build some preventatory cannons in the back there for Seriosity. Four drones. The drones just fleeing this expansion. So disrupted mining at the 3 o'clock base. This time for Striker. Those drones going to flee as well. And the two Zelts hammering away at this hatchery. The Zerglings coming back around. The Zelts trying to work. Able to get one drone right there. The Zerglings now engaging. Much better micro from Seriosity this time. Able to get three drones and a lot of disrupted mining time. Looks like that... One of the Zealots getting pinned back by a good drone drill. But some decent disruption here. So things working out well. And the Corsair is going to go ahead and wander into the main. Another Zealot wandering up to the 3 o'clock location. Just trying to force potential expenditure of Larva. Sees the Spire. It's going to back out. Second Corsair flying across. Maybe they can find an Overlord somewhere out in the field. This Zealot having trouble with that drone drill once again. And again, yeah, just getting disrupted quite a bit. So not getting quite as much in the follow-up. So that third Zealot going to go ahead and exit and pull away. Zergling just patrolling across that third. Level 1 weapons is being upgraded. Zerglings just really want that Zealot. The Zealot's going to go ahead and try to get behind that mineral line. Oh, not quite where we wanted to be. And still getting surrounded by three. What micro from Striker? Corsair is still scouting things out. This a scur two Scourge pushing back this third Corsair. And it looks like all the Corsair is going to return back home. These Scourge might actually be able to turn around and get an additional hit if they don't suicide into this front cannon line. And if they're on top of it, one hits. So they're going to distribute the damage right there. A fourth. So that's four Corsairs. So this fifth Corsair is going to be joining the fleet. Big Corsair investment early on. Let's see if the Scourge are going to be able to sneak in and spot this. Because the Scourge also provides scouting information. At the very least, they're going to go ahead and see the Templar Archives morphing in. Some Zealots marching their way across the map without leg speed. The Mutalisks doing a good amount of damage to them as they're coming across. Let's see if the Corsairs, now that level 1 weapons is going to finish, if they want to sneak out in the field. I think one of the... I'm not sure if one Corsair got picked off. I think it might have. No, it just actually snuck out. Now it looks like Striker going for a a big air fleet in the midst of this. He's got six hatcheries up. Again, kind of playing that six hatch mutilisk build, but this time Seriosity has level one weapons on the air. Ooh, and he has Corsair. Is he gonna be able to sneak out with it though? Still maintaining a, a great degree of map control. These zealots have not gotten a lot accomplished. Looks like they're at least going to be able to. Slow down that expansion in the bottom right. Level 1 armor, or sorry, level 1 weapons online, level 1 armor on the way. This is a big investment in, in Corsairs to just let them sit idle. Additional gateways being plopped down. And the Scourge starting to sneak forward. Trying to get a good look at, and this is a good amount of Scourge out here. So it is possible with a full engagement, those Scourge could just walk by. So oftentimes, if you can get them grouped up, the, the Corsairs can just peel straight through, just do massive amounts of damage, and there's nothing that gets done. An Archon morphing, uh, morphed, so it's going to escort. It's almost like a defensive escort to deal with this air fleet. Let's see what this army can accomplish. One o'clock base has been grabbed by Striker. The Mutalisk and huge air fleet going to dive into the main where there's only a single cannon protecting, so the Corsair going to have to return to home base and there are a lot of Scourge to deal with this, so the main getting obliterated. So despite having an air fleet, despite having plus one weapons, despite having an Archon to float, still able to get damage done. Walking Fire, though, going to get a lot done. Scourge moving in, able to get land several hits, but not able to take out any Corsair. But the Mutalus Force completely obliterated. Striker repositioning this army, and now the Corsair free to go ahead and take out some overlords. 
some Hydralis filtering in. And the Scourge just trailing. Are they going to get picked off? They're kinda, they need to be a little bit careful. Another Overlord potentially exposed here. These Zealots just kind of interesting patrol maneuver. Seriosity not maneuvering to go ahead and grab the third. Problem for Seriosity, he's able to repel that. He does have the supply lead. However, Striker has managed to grab the 1 o'clock base. No drone disruption. Striker once again at 53 drones behind all of this. Some Hydralisks on the ground defending. Again, doing that pylon exchange. I, again, I just feel like there's something poetic about this. Cannons taking down their own pylon. It's like... I don't know what to call that. Hydralisks upgrades. A lot of sunken colonies on the front to help defend with a really tight sim city there. Phenomenized uh, Carapace being upgraded. Corsair's trying to find some undefended overlords. There is one right here if they sneak. Should be able to wipe it out, but a Zealot army going to follow this up. Scourge being wiped out. So yeah, it looks like an overlord going to get killed right there. So nice damage from Seriosity across the board. Able to get some overlords, but having some trouble getting up this ramp. Some Zealots splitting off trying to go the far way around. And Mutalisks look, they look like they're swinging across. Maybe want to pick off a High Templar, and it looks like there is a High Templar to pick off. Man, Striker with the game sense. The Corsair is moving back to take care of the Mutalists while the Zealots and Archons try to re-engage. It looks like some Zealots finally got some room, but they're mostly attacking the Hatchery. I don't think they're going to be able to take that Hatchery out before they are cleared up. Seriosity dedicating the rest of this attack force to the natural expansion, but just getting overwhelmed by the amount of Hydralisks that Striker was able to produce. And he's... Re the Corsair is able to take out a lot of overlords there, but Seriosity hasn't grabbed a third. Striker's still sitting at massive supply. He's just moving in to go ahead and potentially wipe out the natural expansion. He's got a, I'm sure, oof, actually a lot of overlords have been wiped out in the midst of this. This Corsair fleet doing work. Now pressing in. All the High Templar picked off in an instant. Man, the micro from Striker. Just like, you could just hear them die in succession. So freeing up supply by moving these Hydralisks into the natural expansion. And Seriosity GG, realizing he just doesn't have enough of an attack force and also lost all of his High Templar before he was able to drop any storms. So game one goes to Striker once again.